Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. You all loved my first Instagrammable Tokyo Cafes video, so I'm back again for part two. Let's go. First up is the Aoyama Flower Market Tea House. With locations in Akasaka, Aoyama, and Kichijoji, this gorgeous indoor garden cafe is a flower lover's paradise. Inside, it feels like you're in a greenhouse from a fairy tale, with beautiful flowers coating the walls and even sprouting from the tables. They serve a range of delicious teas and floral-inspired seasonal dishes, and though it often has a long line waiting outside, if you arrive between typical meal hours, you'll have no trouble finding a seat. Next is Paddler's Coffee, a little cafe tucked away in one of the quiet corners of Shibuya in Nishihara. Outside is a gorgeous cherry blossom tree and inside their space is super cool with wooden and concrete interiors and touches of American decor. If you're looking for a lovely local spot to relax with a great vibe and a lot of character, Paddler's is perfect. They even play old records while you enjoy your coffee and cake, both of which I can attest to being really delicious. Melting in the mouth in the trendy Tokyo neighborhood of Hiro is a little hole-in-the-wall cafe that you could easily blink and miss if you weren't looking. And it is 100% worth the search because their signature soft serve ice cream and donuts are to die for. And other than being out of this world delicious and massive in size, they look totally cute too. If you have an afternoon in your itinerary spare, I highly recommend you make a stop to pick up a coffee and give one a try. On the way is a train ride out from central Tokyo in the hip district of Shimokitazawa. You'll find it hidden away in a back street behind the bustle of Shimokita and they specialize in adorable cupcakes and coffee. And trust me, you have to try both for the full experience. And honestly, something about their coffee cup design makes me laugh every time. Heading to Harajuku, make a stop at Reissue Latte Art. Skip past the rush of Takashida Street to the back alleys where you'll find Reissue, which hands down has the coolest coffee art I've ever seen. Specializing in custom 2D and 3D latte art, you can bring in any photo and they will recreate it from the milk foam on your coffee. These guys are seriously talented. I brought in a picture of Pikachu and just look at his little foamy face. Let me know in the comments below who you'd want recreated in latte art. It's so cute. Originating in LA, the Alfred Tea Room in Aoyama is all about that pink, pink, pink aesthetic. They have a lovely seating area on the second floor where you can enjoy your rest with one of their many different teas, including their pink layered matcha bubble tea, which of course was the one I had to try. They also have some adorable and very tea appropriate snacks like strawberries and cream sandwiches. Yes, seriously. Shaking things up a little bit, literally, cookie time in Harajuku takes milk and cookies to a whole new level. Famous for their monstrous cookie shakes, which are so insta-friendly, and of course their signature cookies, there is always a long line out the door. I tried their Harajuku special, which is a stacked rainbow cookies and cream shake topped with candies, which was not only kawaii AF, but the most delicious milkshake I'd ever had in my life. Finishing us off is a storybook come to life, the Peter Rabbit Garden Cafe in Jiogaoka. My very first book as a kid was Peter Rabbit, so this themed cafe was super nostalgic and really brought back a lot of memories. All of the classic countryside style dishes on the menu were inspired by characters from Beatrix Potter's stories, and wow, Japan really knows how to do a theme justice. This one even comes in a watering can. The food was delicious, hearty, and wholesome, and everything had the sweetest little touches of Peter Rabbit, from the coffee to even the bread rolls. And seated at each table was Peter himself, which made me feel like a total kid again. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite Instagrammable cafes in Tokyo and found some ideas for your own trip. If you haven't seen part one, I'll link it in the description below. For now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.